Hey everybody, this is Brett, and I want to do another video, a healing video. And, uh, you know, this time I want to talk about things that make me feel good and things that might make you feel good. And as you can see, I'm laying here with my little friend. Her name is Chakra, and Chakra is a four year old golden retriever. She was born on Cinco de Mayo in Albuquerque, and she was the runt of the litter, and uh, <laughs> she is a very special, special turd in my life. Anyways, oh, and if you see that right there, that is poison ivy. Oh, God. You know what? I got it some down there, too, on my belly, because my arm was laying there on my belly. And it got on there, it transferred over. But you know what? I am not sweating it. It'll go away in time, and I've learned my lesson, I hope, again. <laughs> what I would like to talk about today is the things, and do, the things that make me feel good. And many of you have seen The Secret, The Law of Attraction, and you really need to work on doing things that make you feel good and you need to build energy and we're going to talk so much in these videos about building energy because what you're really doing is you're like throwing on a pile of energy like check it out like say you're somebody that you're just starting out in life and you've got a pile of energy that you've built up that consists of mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional energy that's this big. And then as you get older, hopefully, your pile keeps getting bigger if you're doing the right things in life. If you're mentored by someone really awesome like Wayne Dyer or, you know, T Anthony Robbins. Great big pile of energy. And you're learning about intuition from people like Carolyn Miss and pretty soon you've got such a great big pile of energy that when something comes along that happens to you that's not so fortunate something gets drawn out someone sucks something happens and it sucks out a big handful of energy but you know what you lost just a handful of energy and you have still got this pile of energy this big and you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Whereas somebody that's not built up very much energy, they just have a little tiny pile like this and something comes along and it grabs a whole bunch of it and now they've just got that much energy left and it's going to, basically, they've only got five days of life left because they haven't spent time building mental, physical, spirit, phys <laughs> mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional energy. And you know, those are the four aspects of life that I'm going to focus on in the future. And there are so many subcategories of that to be able to build on and create this big old pile of energy for you. And when you've got a great big pile of energy, then you are in this life is wonderful. It's utopia. It's heaven on earth. And so, how about we turn on some music? How about we turn on some Ray LaMontagne for the summer? Ah. I like music that flows. And speaking of the secret and the law of attraction, when you listen to music, try and find stuff that has good lyrics that are going to build you and make you feel better. And if there's music that just, it's not got so good a lyrics, but really, really good, uh, like the, the music, the instruments, and the flow of the music you love a lot, or you really like the artist or something, then maybe not focus on the not so good lyrics <laughs> and maybe change them. You could actually change them in your mind. <laughs> but um, let's move on here. The music is important, but let's also... 
Let's also do some essential oils. This one's called Tranquility, and the number one ingredient is lavender. It's got balsam fir, it's got patchouli, and these are oils that will help to mellow you and make you calm in a, in a world that's chaotic. We live in a chaotic world, but you can make your world mellow <laughs> in your own little room. You can have your own little space, even if it's just a little tiny room, even if you live in a shack, even if you're a yogi and you live in a cave in the Himalayas. You can have total peace and tranquility, whereas some, in some other place in the world, they've got a nuclear disaster. <laughs> Don't focus on that. As soon as you start focusing on something bad, breathe and oust it from your mind. And think of a, a little affirmation, like an example, like think about having a big old bowl full of something that is rotten, but you take that long to dump it into the compost pit and wash it out and now it's clean. <laughs> so, I'm going to take two drops of Tranquility. I'm not going to pop a Prozac. I don't do prescription drugs. Now, I'm not going to tell everybody to immediately stop taking prescription drugs because you may be hooked. I'm not going to tell everybody to immediately stop consuming dairy. I'm going to tell everybody to work your way into the natural, baby. Work your way into things that are God-given. God-given beautiful things like music and like herbs. Take two drops. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, free. Okay. <laughs> And now, we're going to sniff them. <laughs> no, we're not going to sniff glue. That's for people that don't love themselves. People that haven't thought about the ramifications. We're going to sniff something all natural that's going to benefit our bodies, minds, and souls. For some of you younger people, that have not gotten into this person yet, I highly recommend that you listen to some John Denver, okay? He was so beautiful. Brings tears to my eyes to think about it because he died in a plane crash off the California coast, but his music is still alive and I highly recommend that no matter how quirky you might think it is, listen to some John Denver. <sighs> awesome. Okay. You know, people ask me how old I am. And I'll tell you, I'm 46, and um, I'm getting younger and more vibrant all the time. The more raw foods I do, the more I stay vegan, no gluten and no soy, the more I clean out my body, I got rid of all the mercury amalgam fillings. <laughs> See? No more mercury in my mouth. That was an idiocy that people created years and years and years ago. That you know, you may have gotten dragged into it as a kid, like your parents told you that, that it was good to eat candy and Captain Crunch and all of that stuff. Get clear the fuck away from all of that and move out of dairy and figure out a way to calm your mind by breathing essential oils that will calm your mind. Keep one of these with you all the time. Okay, let's move on because I have so many things to show you and so many videos to do and so many products to make. I make pillows and body support products and I do massage therapy and just tons of things. Look at this cool thing. <laughs> oh my god, it's just cool. It's all the way from the Himalayas. Okay. This song is called Shambhala. Shambhala is a way, way excellent song from about 1971 by Three Dog Night. 
And if you go on YouTube, you can watch a great video of this, these people going on a tour in India in, uh, to the music of Shambhala. And um, it's just a way cool video of people in the Himalayan mountains on a bus and dancing outside the bus. <laughs> it's really sweet. <laughs> okay, so let's go do some foam rolling now. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do some foam rolling, and once again, you can see the poison ivy on my belly there. <laughs> if you're wondering what that is. Yeah. I like to work in the garden. And you know. Instead of going to the chiropractor and spending all that money on somebody that's just trying to make a lot of money. <laughs> In my opinion, chiropractic is a racket. And it's just not a good value in the holistic world. And it's so much connected to the medical industries with the, the HICFA 1500 form and the insurance billing and da 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 uh, do your own healing. Learn how to do your own healing. Let's put on another tune. <laughs> okay, what do you like? What do you like? Uh, uh, this one's kind of cool. Alright. So, you can r roll on your back with a big foam roller. If you buy a big foam roller, you can take a saw and cut a smaller piece off of it. This is what I did. You can't buy these little ones. I've got an even smaller one here. But if you want a smaller one like this, you just take a wood saw and cut it off so that it will roll in between your scapula. Can you dig it, Dan McDonald? <laughs> Dan the man, can you dig it? Wahoo! Okay. So good, I'm telling you. You can learn how to heal your own body. You can learn how to heal your own mind. You gotta work though. Nothing's free in this world. Nothing's free. And you know, when you die, you go on to another life. The energy escapes out of the dead body and it goes somewhere else. And maybe it stays in stagnito for a while. And then, is that a word? <laughs> it's kind of a word. It stays in stagnito, and then when it's ready, it emerges into another life. And if you have dreams that aren't going to come true in this life, if you focus on them enough, you'll be gifted with a body, mind, and soul in your next life that will enable you to fulfill that dream. You take what you love and you take what you learn and what you feel and everything that you build, that pile of energy, you take that with you to the next world. So build as much as you can, knowing that you get to keep it. You get to keep that. There are people in this world that are born as just very wise souls at, at a very young age. And you have to know that those people have lived many existences. Let's do some self-massage. Mm. I still got a couple minutes here. Woohoo! Okay, put some coconut oil in a bowl. Take some. If it's cooler, it'll be a hard coconut oil. When it gets warm, it goes liquid. Put it on your arm if, arm, if your arms are sore. If 
your butt sore, if your neck sore, whatever, work on those areas, pay some attention to them, and work the lactic acid out of those muscles so that they will be released and feel better. People don't know that they need to take care of their muscles just like they need to take care of their lawn mowers. I always use that one as an example. <laughs> Lawn mowers, my God. Why do we need to use lawn mowers as an example? You know, Dan the man had goats the other day. He went back to his old place and uh, he saw that there were goats, or he, he saw his goats that he grew up with as a kid. And imagine taking care of the goats. You know, you've got to water the goats, you've got to feed them some hay, you've got to let them run around in the yard, you've got to do these different things, and it takes time to take care of goats. Well, it takes time to take care of your own muscles. And they have to be massaged. And if you don't have the money to massage them, then you have to do it yourself. And that's all right, because this can be damn good. Serious. I, if I weren't able to massage my own muscles, massage therapists don't make that much money. <laughs> Believe me, you may think that they do, but after an hour massage, if I'm, I've made 50 or 60 bucks, I can't do a whole lot of those. I, could, I, I might like to do three in a day, but I don't like to do that much massage because it's really, really hard work. But when I do, and I get tight and sore, then I have to work on myself because I usually can't afford it. Or, um, it's just, sometimes it's just better and more convenient. So check it out. You put some oil on your muscles, and you strip them. And you get in there, and you work them deep. Can you see that? I'm not going to work too much on that arm because that one's got the poison ivy on it. See that? If I put my hand on the table there, or on the floor, then it takes the weight off of my deltoid so that I can get in there and work the lactic acid out of there. Okay. <laughs> The time is up. I can't use any more. I'm over my 15 minutes. So, I hope that you've learned something. <clears throat> I love you because you're a human being and you're part of this earth. Remember, though, that humans aren't the only thing that's important in this earth. Some animals are more important than humans, in my opinion. And, and the plants and the mountains and everything is so important that we take care of it. So, work a little bit at a time. Watch my videos. Subscribe to me. And think about all the things that you can do to be less ugly. <laughs> less ugly. Less ugly to your earth and your world. Because the more you love yourself, the more you got to love everything else.